We're in luck because John the Cook's daughter just gave us an exclusive look into his dressing room for Bold and the Beautiful. But that's not all, the actor also shared some heartbreaking health news about his son, turning the whole experience into an emotional roller coaster. So, stick around to know all about it. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. I don't think we can ever appreciate John McCook enough for dedicating so much of his time and talent to make Bold and Beautiful such a fantastic show. With his character as Eric Forrester, he is hands down one of the legends of soap opera. I mean, he has been holding it down for a total of 36 years, which is like a lifetime in soap years. But he wasn't just on B and B. In fact, he even portrayed Lance Prentice for five years in Young and the Restless and his many other works in the industry. So I bet you all have been wondering how his dressing room looks, after having it for 36 years and thanks to his daughter, Molly we got a full tour. John shared a video made by his daughter on his Instagram, where she practically showed us all the nooks and corners of the room along with some behind the scenes on set. With the caption, never leave anyone alone in your dressing room, for the video, we can see Molly starting with the classic line, come with me to visit my dad at work. Such a lucky girl, to have such a legend as her dad as well as getting to visit him on set. Family photos? Check. Posters from stage gigs? Double check. Pics with legends like Carol Burnett and Carol Channing? Triple check. Oh, and a personal note from none other than Betty White, who casually hung out in his dressing room while playing in on the soap. And lastly, she said, What a dream as an actor to have the same gig for so long, but also to have a dressing room that you can just add to over the years that just feels like another home. It really is his second home. After this sweet video, some of John's co-stars also hopped in the comments expressing their love for both Molly and John, and how much they missed him. But that's not all on the other news, John also opened up about how his son suffers with schizophrenia, and all the things they have been going through. On his Instagram video, John said, I want to talk to you about a book that my wife and my son have written. My son Jake has schizophrenia, and he and my wife Lorette wanted to write a book to help people understand what it's like in a family to help each other and to be understanding. The book is called Cliffs of Schizophrenia, and this book talks all about Jake's experience with it and everything that goes on in his head and feels. Lorette also gave some of her insight from a mother's perspective and says that this book helps to understand schizophrenia better. He then continued. When Jake was first diagnosed with schizophrenia, it was um, alarming, actually, uh, to, to Lorette and me, as it would be, I think, for anyone. There's a stigma attached to the word schizophrenia, and it's a very wide spectrum of what uh, schizophrenia means or represents. Fortunately for us and for Jake, uh, he's not in a radical place with it. It's in an area where, where it can be managed, and then we immediately thought, we're going to deal with this. He then went on to show some appreciation to his wife, calling her the best mom Jake could ever have. He gives her the full credit for handling the situation so bravely, and amazingly, and taking charge of this. He said, Lorette has been all these years, not just a co-author with Jake, but his champion. And now that the book is finally out, he has nothing but praises and is super proud for his wife and his son. He said, I was actually very, more than impressed. I was so proud and of their accomplishment and what they got done. And so proud of what I think the book offers to people who are curious about it or who are going through this with their own families. It's, it's a helpful book, very helpful, wonderfully instructive. And so with great pride, I recommend this book. Kudos to McCook and his family for handling this situation in such a positive, productive way and definitely helping many people to understand schizophrenia so much better. All our love and support goes out to them. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.